you can check out the Pre 3 and the Veer um, in our booth over there. Um, so the touchpad has a 9.7 inch diagonal screen, uh, 1024 by 768 resolution. It's IPS, so it's got you know high uh, viewing angle. Uh, Gorilla Glass to protect it from breaking and uh, it's coated for easy cleaning and, and abrasion resistance. Under the hood we have a 1.2 gigahertz process, dual core processor with a gig of RAM and either 16 or 32 gigabytes of flash. So tons of power there. Uh, we also have triple axis accelerometer, triple axis gyroscope, uh, triple axis compass, there's a light sensor, there's a front mounted uh, image sensor here at 1.3 megapixels, stereo speakers with Beats Audio. So it's packed with uh, the latest technology, basically. In the software, we have, obviously, it's running WebOS. And this is our familiar card view interface. Uh, this, this allows you to easily see what you have going on in, in one view. So this is a very portable product, something you take around your house and office and on the go. And so being able to turn it on and instantly see what it is you're working on is a, is a really powerful feature. It's not just icons that you can, you know, you need to use to, to launch applications. Uh, we've uh, let me show you the browser here. We, we've we've enhanced the notification system to take advantage of the larger screen, and you can see that uh, here in the browser, I'm able to actually do email triage. If there's uh, this is a stack of email notifications, and I could flip through them like this and look for important emails. So. I don't have to leave the browser or whatever application I'm in in order to go see if I've received some important email. I can do it from right here, which is a really, again, a really powerful multitasking tool. Now, if we go back to the, the email application, you can see we have a, a three a three pane layout here. So I have access to all of my inboxes. Uh, probably have more than one inbox, right? And uh, the emails I have here, and then the actual the body of the message. So it makes it really easy to go in and out of emails, but I can control how much I see. So if I want to pull this over here, get a larger view of my email, and still be able to go through my inbox, or I can go even further and drag it like this. And so this is great if I have a long email or a lot of content, or I just want to get rid of all the distractions and focus on the email. I can do that. And just like this, I can drag all the way back. Um, now if I want to reply to an email, you'll see that it opens up in a new card. And this is a really important uh, point because uh, it means we're not stuck down some linear path in email. I can, I can go back to my email application if I want, cross-reference against another email. I'm sure, again, something you do a lot, right? You start an email, you need to look up information on the web or your calendar or something like that, so not being stuck down a single path is important. I can also, of course, have a number of drafts open Again, this is something I do all the time. I start an email, I get interrupted, um, and I can I can keep working on it. If I want to manage these, I can I can pull it off the stack here, and rearrange as I wish. So again, this this kind of goes back to that uh, thing I was telling you before, where uh, you know this card interface is an important uh, multi-password tool. So we let you work the way you want to work. Uh, let me show you our Photos application. This leverages our Synergy technology, so it's a, it's a connected uh, experience. We're pulling in pic, uh, pictures from the local storage here, as well as from Facebook. So you can see these are, some of these up here are local, and some of these pictures here are coming in through Facebook. As you'd expect, I can flip through like this. With the Facebook photos, we've got comments is obviously a really uh, fun feature for Facebook photos and you can participate as well. You can, you can leave messages. We also support printing directly from our uh, photos application. If I move here to the messaging application, so this supports instant messaging protocols like AL Instant Messenger, um, Yahoo IM, and Google Chat. But really cool, it also connects with the Pre3 and, and um, does text messaging. So if you have your phone in your pocket or in another room or something like that, and you receive a text message, it'll also show up here and you can respond here. So don't have to switch back and forth between devices. You can really think of it as uh, device agnostic. You know, when someone's sending a text message it's to me, it shouldn't matter whether it's coming in through IM or text or whether it's going to my phone or my touchpad, it's to me. And so we let you, you know, move across devices seamlessly.